Eddie Hearn knows what he's talking about, people. Because Eddie Hearn has recently gone around saying that uh, the only way that Mr. Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder is if he stinks up the place, as he says, says himself. Which basically means if he fights a negative fight. If he fights a fight that people in the audience would be booing, you know, because there's not enough action because this a fighter is basically on the back foot all night. Basically, if he fought a uh, counter punches fight, he has to basically fight a conscious fight. And I agree with Mr. Eddie Hearn. Uh, I believe that Tyson Fury, I believe that any heavyweight that beats Deontay Wilder. Matter of fact, I believe the heavyweight that ends up beating Deontay Wilder via decision is going to be a heavyweight that fights that type of style, that basically outboxes Deontay Wilder. I believe that's going to be the guy to beat uh, Deontay Wilder. If it's not somebody that knocks him out, if it's not somebody that, you know, catches him with a punch and ends him like that, it's going to be somebody that outboxes him because I've seen Deontay Wilder lose rounds. And when you see a fighter lose rounds, like several rounds in one fight, that tells me that that fighter can lose a decision, right? Because I saw Deontay Wilder lose eight out of nine rounds against Arthur Spoka, right? What saved Deontay Wilder? His ability to land his right hand. That fight showed me that Deontay Wilder didn't know how to uh, cut the ring off against the fighter and that Deontay Wilder, had he not caught Arthur Spoka with that right hand, he would have and if the fight would have continued going the way it was going, because there was literally just like three rounds left, he would have, and let's say the fight would have continued going the way it was going, Arthur Spoka would have, or he should have won via decision. Um, I also saw De uh, Deontay Wilder lose rounds against Ortiz and Gerard Washington before he landed his right hand to change the fight. His right hand has always been the reason why fights he's losing, he ends up winning against, right? So this is why I'm, I, I'm very confident that even though I'm not picking Fury to win, I wouldn't be shocked that Fury wins several rounds against Deontay Wilder. Because like I said, Deontay Wilder is very acceptable and he's very capable of losing rounds when he's in there with a guy who is outboxing him or who's basically playing the counterpuncher. I've seen him lose rounds against at least three fighters, uh, maybe even four, because you could even say that he was losing rounds against... Uh, What's that guy's name? I already forgot that guy's name, but that tall heavyweight he fought, that six foot seven heavyweight like him. Uh, but I've seen Deontay Wilder get out boxed before. That's why, like I said, I think those are the two fighters who are going to beat him. A, a guy who is able to outbox him for 12 rounds and evade getting hit with a right hand and basically doing that for 12 rounds and winning via decision, or a guy who is fighting him and just catches him with a big punch because this is the heavyweight division and you know you can knock a guy out with a big punch. So. That's why I, I've been saying uh, that Tyson Fury has to basically fight a negative fight in order to beat Deontay Wilder. It's going to be boring, but then again, you know, he fought a boring fight when he fought uh, when he fought Vladimir Klitschko. That was a very boring fight. It was dull, but people still praised Tyson Fury. I remember people praising him because, again, he was able to beat Klitschko, who was a long reigning champion. And like I said from from the past, in the past, I said that. The best thing Tyson Fury did in, in the heavyweight division was when he beat Vladimir Klitschko. Because Vladimir Klitschko had the heavyweight division on lockdown for almost a decade. So when he got rid of Vladimir Klitschko and took the belts from him, it freed the heavyweight division. So I always commend Tyson Fury for, for at least ending his reign. Yes, that was a very dull fight, but he ended the reign of Vladimir Klitschko, who had it on lockdown. Uh, and like I said, I was sick and tired of the Vladimir Klitschko reign at that point, so... I commend him for that, but like I said, he's going to have to fight a fight like that against Deontay Wilder. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, though, because unlike T Vladimir Klitschko, I do believe that, that Deontay Wilder is going to be willing way more to let his hands go against someone like... Because, you know, Vladimir Klitschko wasn't willing enough to let his hands go or to go on in the inside. So this is why he gave that fight away. He gave that fight away against um, Tyson Fury because he wasn't willing enough to engage with Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder, on the other hand, he will be willing enough to let his right hand go. You know, even if it's a crazy right hand that comes out of nowhere and he misses, he's more willing to do that than someone like Vladimir Klitschko. Because, like I said, when it comes to Tyson Fury, I see, I, you know, when it comes to Deontay Wilder, I've seen him getting outboxed by guys, but then he's always willing to let his right hand go 
to try and catch. Like he sees his moment, his moment, his opportunity. He sees when he can land it, he lets his right hand go, and he ends up catching them. So that that's what I expect to see from this fight. I expect to see uh, Tyson Fury outboxing Wilder, but you see Tice, Deontay Wilder with his hands up, looking at Deon at uh like I don't expect Tyson Deontay Wilder to be letting his hands go a lot. I expect him to have like a high guard up. Blocking Tyson Fury's, you know, counter punches, but looking at Tyson Fury the entire fight. And then constantly letting that right hand go in hopes. Like when he sees the, the opening, he'll throw that right hand. And that right hand will either miss or uh, get contact and actually land on Tyson Fury. That's the difference between Tyson Fury, I mean, the, the Anthony Wilder and, let's say, Vladimir Klesko. Is he's going to be willing, you're going to be seeing him throw his right hand a lot more. Or basically let more punches go than someone like... Uh, Vladimir Klitschko, which means it's going to give him a more op a, a better opportunity to win uh, rounds or, you know, no, to catch Tyson Fury. So, again, this is why I'm very confident that Tyson Fury will win several rounds against uh, Deontay Wilder just because Deontay Wilder is not going to be going ham after uh, Tyson Fury because of the style he's going to bring in that fight. But I'm also c confident that at one point you're going to see Tyson Fury get hit with a Deontay Wilder right hand because Deontay Wilder is going to be actually willing to let his right hand go. Uh, but yeah, Eddie Hearn is correct. You know, Mr. Fury has to be negative, basically. Anyway, guys, that's all to say. I'm out. Thanks for watching.